It sounds like science fiction, but quantum technology is very much a reality at this research center. House of Quantum in the Netherlands is a startup incubator at the cutting edge in the field. For instance, QBird is leading efforts to provide secure solutions for future quantum internet. So very basic quantum physics, uh, quantum science explains the world of the smallest particles. So think about electrons, atoms, uh, photons, single particles of light. This enterprise will be receiving 2.7 million euros from the EU over the next three years, and we'll see its team grow from five to nine researchers. In the coming years, many hope quantum technology could create a massive tech paradigm shift. From synthesizing new medicine to solving crucial matters such as transportation, quantum science predicted impact has the potential to forever transform the world as we know it. Engineering students in Tour Delft have been working on a voluntary basis since 2018 to design an emission-free aircraft. We hope to be the first to fly with liquid hydrogen by 2025. Since 2021, French and Dutch scientists have joined forces to get ahead in the quantum race. Over the past six years, the EU has funded quantum research with 175 million euros in order to play a more important role in the sector. We have a fantastic starting point in quantum, but if there is a, a quantum economy out there in the future, Europe has a very, very good chance of being one of the main players worldwide. Europe faces a massive challenge in its bid to keep up in the quantum race, the brain drain. In a field dominated by multinationals such as IBM, Google, Microsoft, or more generally the USA. When you look at, for instance, uh, research and development, uh, I think they, they invest like 40% more than we do in Europe. I think companies in the United States invest like six times more in artificial intelligence than we do in Europe. I mean, it's not only the United States, also Asia. We are not in a, in an, in a position that we can have a, a layback uh, attitude. For Europe, faced with competition from the United States and Asia, its success for the future will depend on its investment today.